Get out of here as well. This hard drive's out of my old um, DOS gaming PC. Windows 98, it's a 10.2 gigabyte Chinese made Seagate. Here, um, I've taken a little uh, rubber surround off it. It's done well for 10 years we've had it. Made in 1999. I have got a, an 8 gigabyte uh, hard drive in that machine now, a Mac store, which I got from my neighbour's computer. I had this one here along with that hard drive and had two going. And I had one as a backup, so I could just put heaps of DOS games and stuff in it and just keep the system free. But unfortunately this just locked the computer up completely. Sure enough, I reset it and said this hard drive could not be detected. I was using a hard drive docking station. It's just completely dead. Nothing. Plug it in, nothing happens. So it's time to take this board off. Take this uh, vent off and blow compressed compress it to disc. And that will be a Tesla, what's called a Tesla turbine. The stepping motor will just generate some um, voltage. So let's pull this board off and get to the connections of that motor. I might just do some uh, pit, uh, finer pins to the voice coil of the arm and just put some music through it just for the hell of it. Okay, I'll put the drive board off here. Hmm, little tiny MOSFET there. That must be the firmware for the hard drive. Each, any one of these is the, um, what drives the, the disc, like the um, provides the right frequency in it to, the, to drive the motor. This is what uses a St. Kaio brand motor. The bolt just has three bolts, coming straight off into one little separate assembly. And it's got really um, long leads here, you can just bend them back, put your jumper leads straight into them. Uh, yeah, it's my multimeter, measure the voltage. I've already taken this little uh, warranty void seal off. So I'm going to just inject it at an angle and see how well this works. Set that to, I think it's minimal range. And we've got a multimeter here, digital one and analog one, which should, needle should pick up fluctuations as the disc speeds up and slows down. Instead of just relying on that, you're not going to get a very um, stable reading. So I've got that on volts, that's going to be DC milliamps, just a rough test. Plug this in. Alright, oh, let's see, it's gone down to about 100 psi, so I've lost about 20 psi. Since it's the last video. Alright, oh, I'll flip it the right way over first. Hopefully those um, leads stay on. Ooh, it doesn't sound too healthy. Heads sound like they're scraping on the disc. Alright, mightn't have the right um, combination of pins. Might try swapping uh, two of the pins over. Hmm, without shorting them out, that's probably why it's not working. Bend them back. There you go. They're probably shortening out, that's why it's not spinning fast enough. Right, let's try it now. Set this multimeter up so I can actually see it. Cool. That doesn't sound too healthy at all. Now I have pulled this apart before and I put a big scratch to the disc just because I was bored and a pure frustration. I have got a backup of the hard drive anyway. That's part of the reason why it sounds so un um, angry. Frequency. That under under a kilohertz. Bit 
bit smoother I'm running. Alright, let's try voltage. Uh, AC. So there's no diodes in this motor. Twelve volts. There we go. Stay steady for a relative uh, amount of time. Hmm. Alright. There won't be that much current, but we'll see what I can power with that. Okay, if you was that little experiment, I got down to 30 psi from 100, so. Gonna have to um, work on getting more air into this tank, at least probably get a bigger gauge first. This one is a bit. A bit too fluctuating. A higher um, pressure rated gauge, higher pressure rated regulator, but that's something I don't have. I can just set it up and just regulate it down to the correct pressure and have twice the amount of air in the tank. Oh, I've got a little um, push bike mounted safety LED strobe there. Let's see if it does anything, if it provides enough amps. I think it was on that range there. No, not enough um, amps to power that little circuit. Alright, let's try something smaller. A, a lighter load. Now look at that little BAZ guy. Ah, oh, pulling about two amps there. Both compressors going at once. Yeah. Let's see if this little um, high frequency driver horn top speaker picks up the slightest uh, uh, what do you call it, the um, ripple that this generates, like the hum. There you go, you hear it spin down. There you go, and get some sound out of it. Sweet. Alright, let's take that case off and just get a better angle at it, so I get that disc to spin faster. You can see the carnage, I spun it up on the, uh, that was parked, and I spun it up, you can see a little, uh, look, like a record groove there it's made there. And there's that scratch I put in the disc, just out of pure frustration. A little bit of muck, muck there. Alright, let's see if it does nothing now. Okay, my wires must have come disconnected because that's not even making a noise now. Let's try again. Wires reconnected. The uh, meters are moved. Blow it up so where the air can get more um, drag and grab onto those little bolts there. There you go, you can listen to the noise it generates. So there you go, a little uh, Tesla turbine. Let's see if I can put some audio through this thing, see what it does. Okay, viewers, basically how you find the uh, voice coil, there's a bit of trial in there for the power supply or some description. Start probing those pins and see what happens. So you should be able to hear something when I put power to it, you should hear the little voice coil hum and actuate inside the Hard drive. Let's try if I put 12 volts DC 100 hertz ripple into this motor. Oh, it turned. It stops because that gets to a certain point. Let's try this. Alright, start from the end. Went my way to the left. To the left. So I'll start from here, work my way back. Till I hear a clunk of the lead head assembly. There you go. Alright. 
I've already marked it before, and that's how you basically find the um, actuator, voice cord of the head there, the um, arm. A lot of plastic in this one, so it's probably not going to last long, although it is encased in the winding, so let's put some audio through it. Go and get some royalty free music as an audio source so we don't get into any trouble. We'll be back. Okay, if you want to sort of solder it on, it's very hard to solder to those tiny pins, but I managed to do it. I've got my sister's old CD player, so let's press play. It's turned up flat out. Go on to the lay pie. That's a good 30 watt amplifier, so. One hurt. One cycle per second. Yeah, the magnet. Gotta take the little brake off so it doesn't stick. Keeps parking. I just set that little park and turn that down. Take that little magnet off and that parks it when the hard drive's turned off. And that's stopping it from moving. So we'll pull that off. And let's try again. Turn the parking magnets off. Let's try again. Turn it all the way up. Bit of a noise there. For the power supply, I'm assuming. That's four wave rectified 100 hertz DC. There you go. Check one. Yeah, it doesn't register the one cycle per second wave that good. That doesn't matter, probably about 10 hertz. 20 hertz. Probably at least 30 hertz there. Yeah, you don't like it. They're actually against its stoppers. There you go. Hmm, bump this air player. Make a good subwoofer. Turn the bass down. Shovel down. Bass up. Shovel up. Got some high frequency stuff here somewhere. There you go. There's some distortion there. Now let's fill the amplifier for heat, just in case it's getting too hot. Getting loud now. Ah, and barely even warm. Next track. Bass down. Shovel down. Not even warm that voice call. Seems to respond real to certain uh, frequencies. On loud hard drive. Bit of a resonance there. Yeah, it's moving a tiny bit, using a bit of power there. Different positions, it changes note a bit. Turn it down. 
pretty much bass at the start of each drum. Because it starts off low, it gets higher. At a track play, it's a frequency. Really basic one, this one. You get the idea how this thing responds. Pretty responsive. It's enough messing around for now, so. Thanks for watching.